Hey everybody, something different in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at some literal silver bullets and the cylinder with which they come. Let's get into it. I am going to be wearing this glove for most of the video. I want to protect the, the finish and the quality of the silver bullets and cylinder. And I'm going to show you everything close up in just a minute. But before I do that, I want to let you know that these are actually made by Ryan Davis. And before you start asking who, I have a link in the description to a fantastic video. Rob Keens of Gold Silver Pros did an interview with Ryan Davis, and it kind of gives some background information about why Ryan started making these and how he does them. So go check out that link after you watch this video and get a lot, of, a lot more information about Ryan Davis and the process for making these. Here is an up close view of one of the bullets and on the back you can see it says AG 47.999 half ounce. Each cylinder comes with six half ounce bullets and the cylinder itself weighs three ounces. So it's a three ounce cylinder, six ounces fully loaded. Now the AG-47 does not refer to George Wickersham, who was the 47th Attorney General under President Taft. It does refer to the chemical symbol for silver, which is AG from the Latin Argentum and 47 being its atomic number and location on the periodic table of elements. These, uh, the cylinder and the bullets are all .999 silver, and I, I do see right there, there's a little bit of a, a tooling mark right there around the middle. I didn't notice that before, but that does appear to be the only imperfection anywhere on this that I have seen. I'll go ahead and take out the bullets and show you each one of them individually in a second, but that tooling mark appears to be the only little imperfection on there. Here are all six bullets and the empty cylinder. And the cylinder, obviously, like a normal revolver cylinder, would go all the way through and be cut all the way. This has a solid back. Obviously, it doesn't need to have an open on both ends because you're not actually shooting these bullets, but that's how it looks on the inside. Again, a quick view all the way around. And I did do a weight measurement on each of the bullets. They, like I said, they are advertised at half an ounce each and they all weighed half an ounce or more. There was one of them that weighed exactly half an ounce, 0 .500, and the rest weighed between 0 .503 and 0 .512 was the highest one there. The cylinder itself weighed 3.18 ounces, so it's a little bit over three ounces. And I'm going to put all the bullets back in in just a moment, and I'll put the entire thing on the scale, and you can see what the entire thing weighs to. Now, one thing I noticed is that these are machined to really tight specifications. I'm going to go ahead and drop the bullet in, and you can see how it drops in there. That is some really tight tolerance right there. It doesn't just drop in, it slides in because there's ever so little bit of space between the bullet and the cylinder wall. So that was something I found to be interesting. It just goes to show the quality of this, that each bullet can just kind of fall in like that. Once I get it in there. there we go. So that is how they all are in the cylinder. Let me go ahead and get my scale out and I can put it on the scale. Okay, we are on Troy ounces and I will go ahead and hit the tear button just to make sure we are completely zeroed. 6.222 is the final total weight of this uh, cylinder with bullets. So it's advertised as six ounces. I got six and just under a quarter. I'm assuming six is going to be the minimum that you're gonna get. Um, Obviously, there's going to be some discrepancy as you're making these individually by hand. You know, you can't make everyone weigh exactly the same. But I said like earlier, each one, each bullet weighs at least half an ounce and the cylinder weighs over three ounces. So 6.22 is the total weight for this cylinder and bullet. If you're wondering how this compares to the size of an actual revolver cylinder, the one on the right is from a Rough Rider. It shoots a 22 LR caliber. You can see that's considerably bigger than the little silver cylinder, but that's just kind of a size comparison in case you were wondering. And if you're wondering about the size of the bullet itself, from left to right, we have a 22 LR, a 380, 
our silver bullet and a nine millimeter. So the silver bullet is somewhere right between a 380 and a nine millimeter, just to give you an idea. I purchased this cylinder and bullets from Arc Silver. I believe they're Arc Silver Gold and Osmium now. So I'll, you can use the link on the screen right now. Uh, you can go there if you're looking to purchase some of this. You can email Ian at Arc Silver and he can give you information about the cost and the shipping and everything. But there you go. There is a quick look at this cylinder and the bullets that come inside of it. Again, this is a fantastically machined product. If you're looking for any kind of uh, silver collectible that is not a coin of some sort, this is definitely an option and definitely something that will hold its value and you'll be able to um, resell it in the future if you want to or just keep it and enjoy it. So that's it. Uh, thanks for watching. If you have any questions about this cylinder or the bullets, so let me know. Put them in the comments and I will get back to you to the best of my knowledge. Otherwise, you can check the description for more information. Again, watch that video between Gold Silver Pros interviewing Ryan Davis. And that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. Take care. God bless.